Hi everybody, welcome back to Majestic Collectibles Action Figure Mystery Box Search 103. I uh, got a few more long boxes here and this one was on top of the stack. Did not have a lid on it, which was good because they didn't get mashed and bent. You guys have seen a lot of these uh, action figures where they were curled up. So thankfully this, this was not uh, damaged. They're all reboot figures. Really love that show. I think it was an IP TV show, maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. Watched it with my daughter. She's 25 now, so yeah, it's it's been a while. Um, I've had a few of these before. I they sold. They they were not anything, as I recall, high dollar or super duper sought after on it. Um, but I haven't had any, I don't think, for a while. I actually have to look at my eBay store to see if I... I think I probably still have a few that are on there. But, um... A lot of duplicate figures here. So, nice little group. Really nice cards. Good condition. We'll see what happens on them. So, box number two here. Oh! Oh, another home run, I think. Heck yeah, look at that. Look at that. I, man, had some really good luck with some G.I. Joe boxes lately. Um, well, I guess they go both directions. I was thinking the box is backwards, but it looks like they're going both ways. So General, oh, let me get that. There we go. General Hawk. The Battle Commander's Talking Commander's line isn't great, but as I said, Overkill always seems to, to sell fairly quick. Stalker, which I've got a lot of those, is the slowest seller. And then, you know, Hawk and, uh, oh, who's the other one now? I'm trying to, oh, yeah, Cobra Commander. I, I don't have any of those. I'd like to get some of those. And uh, got a little Mortal Kombat in here. And let's see what years uh, that is. 94. And I don't think I've had any of this series before either, to be honest with you. So, uh, let's see. Well, a couple different figures anyway. So, Sonya and a couple uh, Shang Tsungs. And here we go, Shadow Ninjas. Now, this one, I don't know what happened to that. Looks like it was... Somebody maybe put it on a hook at a store and poked it through. I bet they did because that's torn. That's what they did. Uh, too bad it's even on Storm Shadow, so that's a little... That's just a shame. So there we go. We've got some Night Creeper. Another Night Creeper. Ah, there we go. There's a nice Storm Shadow where it's not all, uh, not all dinged up. So I like that. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought that was the same figure. I thought, well, that faked me out. I didn't realize they're that uh, similar on the Storm Shadow and the Bushido. So let's try. See what else we got in here. Looks like I got. Looks like I got a couple. Yep, three more of the Ninja series. So another Bushido, a Nunchuck, and another Nunchuck. So that was good. Now let's see what's down here. Oh, I see something else interesting. Oh, that's too bad. Wow, that is really messed up. I don't know what happened there. That bubble seems all right. A little bit of a ding, but... Hmm. That's too bad. Well, that one's not bunged up, so that's good. That one's not ripped off on the gung-ho. Um, let me see here. Oh, I think I see what happened. So I've got another Turbo Fire Gen 2 Transformer. Um, nothing too exciting there. Clutch, which, boy, I don't know if I've had that clutch or not. And another, another Gung Ho. So not, not too bad a deal there on the uh, Mega Marines. Here's what happened, though. Let me show you this. And uh, I must have happened a while ago. I don't know if you can I don't even see that in the bottom of the box. That's the paper from the gung-ho. 
I think it must have had a, a had a critter in there. I don't know if it was a mouse or a something. I'm thinking got in there and uh, and shredded that gung ho. So that's too bad. Hopefully that's not a recurring problem. Like I said, I think it probably happened a long time ago, but I will have to keep an eye on my storage unit, which is supposedly secure from such things. And here we go, box number three. Well, that's interesting. I don't think I've had any of these yet. Legends of Batman. There's Nightwing. And uh, Catwoman, which usually the Catwoman figures are, uh, are pretty saleable. And that looks like another Nightwing. Okay. Oops, I'm running out of room here. Here we go. Now this, oh, here's another. Well, I've been finding these lately. I don't know what the deal was. That got crunched in the bottom of the end of the box. Powerbots Ultra Chrome Posable. Powerbots, those are very shiny. Oh, it's Trendmasters. So, out of St. Louis. And let me see what year they are. I am not. 94. Looks like there must have been four of them. Steely Blue, Meta Blaze, Purple Hazing, and Emerald Z. And I've got a bunch of these figures, so let's find out. So that must be the... Uh, well, that's definitely going to be Purple Hazing, isn't it? Or is that Meta Blaze? That may be Meta Blaze. Let's see what else we got here. So there's another one. And it looks like it got dupes of the blue one. Oh, here's the emerald. So there we go. There's the... Is that right? Yeah, emerald Z. Steely blue, meta blaze, and purple hazing. So let's see what we got. This is a dupe of the first one, I believe. Yeah, it sure is. Elite Galactic Guards. I don't know if that was a animated series or just a original IP on the figures. I don't know. I don't recall uh, recall ever seeing these in stores or commercials or collector shows or anything. Which means they're either worth nothing or they're worth a fortune. I don't know which one, but I will find out. And here's the last one. So no, I don't. I don't think. I, well, that's the. That's got to be the purple guy, right? Not the not the Meta Blaze. So yeah, I might have a couple of sets here. Well, that's okay. Well, anyway, guys, check out our other videos. Uh, obviously, we're we're doing some more box pulls here. I've got a stack of boxes beside me. Uh, click like, hit subscribe. Uh, you know, send me your comments and questions. Majestic Collectibles on eBay and social media. And thanks for watching.